What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mikey. What's going on, Chris? What's up, man? Guys, dig, man, Leftovers, series finale. It's yes. it's over, man. And what what a show. What a show. Yeah, it was it was it was great. I mean, it was great since you put put us on to uh, starting the series. I know we've mentioned before that uh, this was a you know some a show that you that you really enjoyed and you wanted third person to to put it out there for everyone. And I'm glad you did. Um, you, you feel know, like I you're better a, you're better man for it having no having you know, experienced <laughs> it, yeah. right? Yeah, much better person. No, but it's definitely an interesting um, series. I can see it not being for everybody in some aspects, but. The thing that's cool about this, um, about about this show, is that they didn't they didn't hold on to it too much. They didn't drag it on into multiple seasons. They had they had it set from from before they even shot this right. first season to where they were going to go and where they were headed, and um, you know they can really give us exactly what they wanted without dragging anything on. Yeah, and hell yeah. That's what I I enjoyed. You know HBO. Um, definitely has some has some some Got awesome shows man s- shows and and this was definitely one that we can we can add to the belt definitely you know? so this so without we're not going to recap the whole episode but what happens is you find out it's it's years later yeah um, and we find out that nora did go kevin yes nora went but came back, which we'll get into in a second. And Kevin's been looking for her ever since. And I think yeah. they said it was, I think somewhere they said it was around 15 years, I think, uh, somewhere online. I, they said it was supposed okay. to be about, uh, yeah, because I don't remember doing it. It's supposed to be about 15 years. My brother, my yeah. brother and I were talking. He, and he, he was looking okay. up some stuff for me. And he's like, I think they yeah. said about the showrunner said about 15 years past. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's just, let's just talk about, let's, right let's talk it. about uh, the, um, uh, the, what she says. The thing is, is okay. So she says that she crossed, she crossed yeah. over, and the one big answer we got is what? Where did they go? That's that's actually yeah. basically one of the only main answers we got is where did they go? And it turns out that, like I suggested, was that the 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 dimension that they, we all live in split. Split. So what happened was the people thought. The people that departed from Nora, Nora and, and Kevin's, Kevin's world. Kevin's world. Thank you. They thought Kevin and Nora, and all those people disappeared. So yeah. they said it was about twenty eight percent of the world's population, mm-hmm. right? Which means well, a third or something, right? A third, twenty eight percent, whatever. That, yeah. yeah, but that. <clears throat> so she says she crossed over, and yeah. that world was desolate. Like that world had like nobody in it. Yeah, there wasn't many people. Yeah, things were yeah. run down. Like it was like it, that was insane. And she says she went up and and she saw she went to her house. It took her a while to get back to America and 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 check out her house. And she did. And her kids were there, grown. And her husband was there with another woman. And yep. she realized at that point, I'm the ghost here. Yeah, I I don't belong here. And then she ends up going and took another long time to find the man that created the machine, and send her back. So. Um, and the reason I, I wanted to get through all that because I just wanted to say it again out loud because I loved it. I loved it. Again, mm-hmm. I had said it was. Remember, I told you about that show, The Spartacle Project. That, yeah. That that ch- that kids kind of UK based show. It was the yeah. same situation where the this machine was the catalyst that split the mm-hmm. dimensions and that anyone over twenty five went to a different dimension, but they all coexisted. They just couldn't see each other. Kind of like yeah. X rays, you know. Yeah. But. I was going to say, not to cut you off, but, um, you know, there's that theory that they say Nora was lying. About that she it. didn't go. She was lying to to Kevin. I was going to say Rick. What? I was going to say Rick. <laughs> she, that she was lying. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, I don't think I don't think she was lying at all. Um, I, I I know that we've spoken about how how desperate Nora seemed to to go fi- try yeah, to find her children kids. in Hell the yeah. first place. Yeah. Um, I 100 percent feel like. Um, she went there. The one thing that I wish I could have seen is when she was describing, um, you know, going to, you know, being outside of the house and um, a, a young boy at, at, you know, about the age of 14 and a little girl at the age of about 10 or 11, something like that came out. They were seven you know, years older than they were. Yeah. From the door. Yeah. Um, 
I would have liked to see a quick glimpse of them or something. You know, I would have liked to see maybe her husband, you know, um, on the porch or something like that. Or it would have been cool to see a glimpse through her eyes and maybe what she saw. But it didn't really put anything. No, um, it, it was nothing negative to to how I felt about the episode. But the thing that um, really got to me in the beginning was because I'm taking notes and I'm trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Mm -hmm. So when Kevin first arrived, um, when we first really seen Nora in the beginning of the episode, um, you know, old Nora, uh, we see Kevin knocking on, on Nora's door to me, I was wondering, and I was a bit confused about now where, where is Nora? I'm sure you felt the same way, especially. Oh, in I got, yeah, before. I got some words on that. Yeah. Where, it, where was Nora? Was Nora here? Um, um, and when Kevin knocks on the door and acts like he never really had this relationship or this love with her. And then it was just a matter of when they first met that, in at the dance, that three for a loop, like, right? where is this? Yeah. Did Kevin cross over? Did Kevin go in this ball um, and try to look for Nora, but maybe his memory was erased or something like that. So I was a little confused in the beginning. The one cool thing, um, and I'd like to hear what you have to say about you know about that and how you felt about Kevin, you know, not telling Nora the truth in the beginning. But when Nora called Lori, Lori. which is Bing, 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 Lori didn't, Lori didn't, didn't fucking die. She didn't die, or. I was, I was sh exactly. I know what you're going to say that yeah. she was maybe calling from heaven or maybe nor, uh, Lori was in this place or something because the phone booth that Nora went into, the name of the phone booth was like celestial or something like that. Or cele it was like, it was like, it was like celeste celeste cel yeah. cel 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 celestial celeste some or like something. That, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, it's the same one though that wow. the dad used though too. It's the same booth. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah. so not the same booth, but the same um, same company. Yeah. All right. So at first, I was like, "Is she talking interdimensionally or something?" Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or you know, is this um, other side where everyone departed able to connect with heaven or the afterlife or something? But obviously, by the end, we figured um, that's not the case. But uh, without going too much you know, rambling too much. What do you, what do you, how do you feel about Kevin? And what did you think in the beginning there when he first um, knocked on the door? What do you I, think? I, I thought the same thing, man. They, I was like, is she in a different dimension? Did she, <laughs> is she in the other side? Did she yeah. live there? Like, mm -hmm. was she in the same type of place that Kevin went when he died? Yeah. I was like, miss, maybe this is hers. And she, and she crossed over and you know how like Kevin, Kevin could have stayed there. Plate. Yeah, Kevin could have fucking stayed in that in that death dimension or whatever you want yep. to call it. Yep, yep. We no, I know. felt that. I felt that too because that's <laughs> why. That's why maybe Kevin wasn't didn't remember. Maybe right. because in in Nora's world, world, in right, Nora's, in, exactly. Um, because they've Nora's, already done it, right? They made the world. They made Kevin's world. Why not? Exactly. So maybe she still loved Kevin and wanted Kevin there, but he wasn't exactly Kevin in Nora's dream state or her heaven or whatever you want to call it, the nirvana for her. But um, it was, it was definitely a shock. Like I said, with Lori, which was cool. They explained the kids, they explained Matt dying and how Kevin was upset that Nora wasn't there yeah. um, when they spoke a little bit. So just to remember, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody watched this knows um, about what happened when, when Kevin invited Nora to this wedding. Um, it was just, it was interesting. And, I talked to you, Chris, um, before we started recording about my theory of the of the goat and of the of the doves and how Nora had these doves. These they were trained and and she was using them for these weddings because um, you know we did see this bucket full of these messages yeah. that um, you know these these messages of love that they said at the wedding. Yeah. I was I was um, it was very symbolic this episode to me. Um, I felt like obviously in the end when there was that um, reconciliation uh, when when Kevin finally came to Nora's place again and, and the second time and said, listen, I'll tell you the truth. And, and we actually find out that that is the Kevin and we find out, um, you know, what he's been doing the last bunch of years. And he has two weeks vacation every year. And all I do is come and show your picture to everybody in Australia and all this kind of stuff. Yep. And to me, it was um, – very symbolic with the goat. And when Nora was seeing the goat that was trapped on the fence with all these beads. And just like they said at the wedding, 
the beads were a symbol, uh, symbolic of of the sins that you had, and to release and to and to give off this love and have these messages of loves, and that's what the doves um, represented. And for her to climb, and and it took her a struggle. You know what I mean? It was like a, the angle of the of it's the a, right. It was all symbol. Right? I didn't, I didn't even realize that very, angle. Yeah. I was like, it looked like it was a regular from the street, right? and then all of a sudden she's yeah. going up. I'm like that's <laughs> sick how they did that. Yeah, it was very interesting. So so by freeing these, um, by freeing the sins of of the people, and 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 right. releasing this goat, it was almost it was very symbolic of her releasing the sins of her, and finally saying here and. Uh, remember, she told Kevin she she thought about she never stopped loving him. She thought about contacting him. Right. And, you know, obviously, by the end, you see the doves return. And I thought in that last scene, you know, with them landing on the cage and and the area, the coop there, I thought was really a cool way to end it. And it really explained a lot. And, um, you know, I was I was I was glad how they ended it, because me and you, you know, how we were talking about how HBO ends some of. Yeah, uh, their, their series. Yeah, uh, how they would end this, and I thought they did a, a great job. Yeah, with that. I want to take it. I want to. I want to. I want to pull it out. I want to pull focus out yeah. a little bit and and yeah. just continue with what you were saying about the uh, symbolism stuff. Okay, so yeah. this whole episode, they had us all believing. I'm sorry, I don't care. Don't you? You can lie to yourself if you want, but you're not going <laughs> to lie to me and Mike. We know you were thinking what we thought. You were thinking, is it supernatural? This is it. Is she here? Is she this? Is he this? Is that? Yeah. You were all thinking it. We were all mm -hmm. thinking it. And they did that shit on purpose and they did it beautifully. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it, as it turns out, it was just regular life. It was just years later. And yeah. there were explanations for it. And he mm -hmm. says, I saw you and I just made this. This I just, I just figured maybe I could erase the whole thing. But that's not my point. My point is... This last episode was basically an allegory for the entire series, which was uh -huh. look at all of these amazing, supernatural, extraordinary things that are happening. Yet, mm -hmm. yet, it really always, always comes down to family, love, love and, yeah. and living and living your need, life right? the best you could. And yeah. and and I and, and I've said it a I've said it so many times talking about this show, man. This it, you know they they did it they did it on purpose i have this such a strong feeling I, I haven't heard any interviews yet i'm sure we'll hear them sooner or later but they did all they threw all that shit jesus stuff and and supernatural they threw that all at you to fucking yeah. just throw you off your game and just be like look and 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 mikey we don't know yep we just don't know we don't still why know it what happened, happened. who yeah. the hell kevin really was well, how right. that all happened and you know what it doesn't matter it just no nah. i and, and, and i'm i'm sure there's those of you out there that are like i want to know what the hell i can't believe i me mikey i am completely yeah. fucking satisfied i don't need to know what why how i all i, I all what they told us is perfectly fine because like i, I said that whole the whole last episode was a perfect was a perfect mirror of what the entire series was they were like yeah. hey guys look what we think what we're, look what we're making you look at but guess mm -hmm. what it's not about that it's yeah. it's just because because dude everything can be brought back down to simple terms and that's what this was yeah. so that that's my overall spin on it and that's why i'm mm -hmm. satisfied and it, you know, I, I, I enjoy it. Are you satisfied? You're satisfied, right? Yeah, no, because I told you last week, I think when you asked me that, well, how would what you it, hope yeah. for it to end? And, and like I said, um, I just wanted to know or get a glimpse of the departure. Um, and that's why when you said earlier, do you believe that Nora was telling the truth? I 100% believe that Nora was telling the truth. Um, I'm glad that we got a, a glimpse of it. I'm glad that Nora gave us some... some um, Kind of ideas of what she was encountering when she was on this other side how she arrived in the same place where she departed and there was no trailers there was nothing there the grass was overgrown yeah. um there was much less people there i had to take a boat to new york that took forever um there was there was very uh it was very rare to have any kind of pilots that's why there weren't many you know there weren't any flights and and things like that so they gave us some cool glimpses and they gave a lot of um you could picture it well, that's Even what I was going to say. I don't yeah, want to cut you off, but yeah, the fact they that they show didn't it, show it, that yeah. and the fact that I think, I bet you they went like back and forth. You know, yeah. 
Yeah, with her with her speaking, and she's such a great actress, and she acted yeah. the shit out oh, of that. Oh, it was great. Yeah. My, my brother and I were talking, and, and uh, the, the, the creators were saying that it took them like three weeks to get that final scene. Like, yeah. they, they agonized. And you know what? And mm-hmm. they actually agonized over whether or not, when they killed, so they actually killed Laurie. They actually killed her off. But they felt so bad about it that they decided, Did yeah, that they decided to bring her back. Oh, see, the, I didn't hear that. For the end, yeah. I just thought that they, they made it look as if, you know, and we well, that was the whole point. Because, that was the whole point, to make it seem like that. I, I was convinced that she did, but... Oh, I was convinced, even the people that I spoke but with. They, and uh, they, they, they were like, they felt so bad doing that. They're like, I don't, they didn't, they didn't it didn't feel good to them. So they yeah. were like, you know what, we're not going to do that. And they wrote, rewrote yeah. the ending or whatever, and they got oh, her so back in cool. there. I didn't know that. It's crazy, man. Yeah. You know, it's funny, I... I want to say, like, you know, we look at this stuff, and, like, my brother's hilarious because he's, like, he but right before we start, like, we he watched it, like, a half hour before I did, right? Okay. And, he, and I'm, like, I texted him, are you watching it? And he's, like, I'm, he goes, I'm, I'm about to. He's, like, but I've got a lump in my throat. He goes, I just don't want it to end. Like, this show affects mm. my brother. He's he's sending me the <laughs> he's sending me the, the, the soundtrack stuff. And, and mm. you know, and we sit here, and we're, like, and, and, you know, and we're doing a fucking YouTube channel about talking about stupid TV and stuff. You know what? But you know what? It's not stupid because... If you it's, weren't invested in, in in the show, if the if these shows didn't compel us to watch week in and week out and to fall in love with these characters, there would be no show. It'd be, would be not only that they would. We're doing it because it's because it's it's coming from humans. It's not coming from yeah. aliens. It's not coming mm-hmm. from llamas. It's coming from other human beings who feel the same yeah. shit we do, yeah. and they're and and it's and it's a creative. I feel like there's this creative movement happening in the world. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We're shifting. The whole world is shifting. And and if you notice, entertainment is becoming bigger than it ever, ever has. Every form of entertainment. We're getting entertainment from everywhere now. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. All over. And I just feel like like this is what it is. And that's why shows like this are so amazing. Because not only do yeah. they make you think they, they make you look into yourself, they make you they make you feel like, wow, this other person who wrote these words for this fake character is feeling what I felt meant, or what I'm yeah. feeling. You know what I mean? That's, so no, yeah, that's, th- that's, you know, that's all, that's all based on, on great writing, um, great actors and choosing the right and life cast. experience, man. I mean, yeah, but not just... even that, but you know what? You can have, you can have great writing and you can have a great story, but have not the right actors doing the job and you'll never get. It won't have the same the impact. Show. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, um, you know, without beating this to death, I mean, the the only how about let's get into this real quick. Um, how about the makeup? That was amazing. It was right? it was good. It was damn good. And then and, and they added the wrinkles and it, it, dude, it looked so freaking. And Nora with her little spots they put dude, on her. How and, dude? Every right? uh, half that show, dude, was close ups, like super yeah. high def close ups, mm-hmm. man. You know, yeah. and I'm like, oh, it looks so good. And I'm yeah, like, they, they just did a great did job so aging them well. Just and it's enough. just, I mean, I mean, damn, like they dude. And, and like, yep. oh, my God, dude. I, OK, how about <laughs> how about the point when they're dancing? They start to dance and they're yeah. holding each other and they're realizing See, I'm getting a little getting a little choked up because I'm thinking about it. And they're holding each other after so long. Yeah. The dude had a heart attack like, yep. you know, um. Uh, her brother. Her brother died. Like his dad's still kicking. The son had a divorce. Like, like Kevin yeah. has been through so much, and Nora went through so much, and now they're coming to back together again. And it's she a says, "Second chance." And she says, "Yeah." And she says, "Lie to me." And he just repeats. Yeah. This is where I I knew obviously yeah. that it it was the real Kevin. Mm-hmm. She says, "Lie to me," and he and he repeats the same story. I saw yeah. you driving by me, and it's like, "Damn it! Oh my yeah. god!" And he starts to cry, and it's like, "Shit! I knew it! Yeah. I knew it!" That was so mm-hmm. good. And then at the end, when she's talking, and he's just crying, and he's just looking at her, and he's crying, like, "Man, yeah. you can't you can't get any better than that." I mean, so I mean, I guess I I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe, <sighs> dude. I, I I know this is this is how I'm gonna end my part of it. All right. We seen in the in the previous episode Kevin's struggle, Kevin releasing this um, this twin, if you will. Um, 
we see him forgetting and never going back to this to his to that plane, limbo that war, and, yeah, whatever, and yeah. him releasing and him starting new uh in in a way um we see uh, nora now in this episode wait wait wait, wait pause pause on nora real quick question do mm. you think that once he once he vanquished that in that insecurity he, and the indecisiveness he's not anymore well besides that i mean specifically about nora do you think that once he once he killed that indecisiveness and he came to realize how he felt about nora that that's when he was like i have to find her and that's how he knew oh i think he, he knew said he said he knew we yeah but i think up. he was very indecisive because he still don't forget he was doing that ritual where he put his head in the bag like him and nora and him had to separate for all those years because yeah. that was the only way they were going to come back because they, they were both they weren't needed, ready they, they both, both right they both needed to, to be, be away in that Exactly. Yeah, Nora had to vanquish her demons, which she did. And, and it was he very needed to symbolic. do the same, which, which we watched needed... happen. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm sorry. So, yeah. So I, I really yeah, no, just it's... wanted to say that, you know. It was it was both of them needing to do what they both needed before right. anything was ever going to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. To where, you know, uh, to where it was going to be. And, um, yeah, just the show's symbolism and the way they wrapped it up and the culmination of these these three seasons, it all showed because the show seems like it could have went uh, maybe another way. It could have been much more supernatural. We don't necessarily know why Kevin was doing what he was able to do. We never know how Kevin Sr. was able to talk with Kevin through the television. Or hear the voices. Or yeah, we, we never got... Show. Or, you know, we never got... Um, uh, 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 like a like a final final yeah you know what you, we did though you know you know what the answer is Mikey well shit happens and we yeah. don't know why no and, and that's, that's perfectly it. fine and that's, that's it because fine. that's what it is yep. you know yep but yeah so yeah man um I think yeah, we, I, mean, uh, I, I think don't know. we beat it. I mean, you have anything else to say about no, it? I'm I don't just trying make to wrap up. Crazy, just, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I'm super satisfied. Yeah. I'm. I'm overjoyed. I I lo I loved it. I just you know, and the more and the, you know, and I'm just glad that we were able to do it. I've enjoyed talking about it with you, and mm -hmm. I, it's just it's nice. just amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. probably wait till like maybe a few months, Let's six simmer. months, and then just watch the whole thing over again, yeah. knowing now what I know. And it's like I yeah. guarantee you're gonna find some stuff. And oh, of course, it was of amazing, course. guys. I mean, I obviously you let us know what you guys think. Yep. Um, I mean, was that it, let man? Us, I let think. Us know, let us know if you're happy with how the show ended. I yeah, think that's I mean... a big. I think that's a big question. Um, let us know if you feel um, you're excited about everything just getting wrapped up with these characters getting wrapped up and what we learned um, in this last episode of where everybody was. How do you feel about Lori um, uh, being being uh, alive and giving us that uh, little switcheroo there after we all thought that she was gone? Yep. Leave us leave us all these all those notes in the comments. You know, obviously you find us on YouTube at Third Person Pod. Um, don't forget to check us out on Third Person in Facebook, also Instagram. We'll give you some information about Snapchat what other us shows. If you want. Snapchat us. Let us know yeah. um, if you're if you follow us on Snap. But just give us um, some ideas of some of the shows possibly that you would like to. Um, hear what we have to say about them you know yeah. we're, we're debating on what shows we want to get into next so it would be cool for you guys to let us know some input yeah and uh i was about to say look at the discussion and review or whatever but we, <laughs> we don't do this that is for, just a discussion for this, this one. Is discussion so guys uh, as up. always if you guys want to go check out comicblitz.com uh we're still uh running around with those guys we got a promo code yeah, third person pod you can go get yourself uh some comics um uh, it's uh three months for only three dollars and stuff unlimited comments go ahead and do that uh yep. and if you wouldn't mind i got a funny i got like a comedy podcast uh called retro squat you go to retro you can check, it, check it out it's a it's a, about some like retro movies tv shows games video games and cartoons it's pretty fun um and that's gonna do it for us here um off of the series finale yes of the leftovers guys what a what a great show uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us and taking this ride with us. And um, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna go, and we're gonna see you guys on the next video we do. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you then. Peace out. Peace.